The false squat. Most people are under the impression that the full squat is dangerous to the lower back, to the knees. They've been told this by their medical doctor. And we are farther along now than that. We have better knowledge regarding the human anatomy and body mechanics. So we know now that that is not true. Now, let's take a look at why the full squat in comparison to a partial squat is the safer alternative. For the purpose of this video we're going to consider the full squat anything from where the top of the upper quadriceps is below the knee, visibly below the knee on down to a true full squat. We're going to consider a partial squat anything from parallel on up. Now the benefits of the full squat are many. The full squat increases the size of the hamstrings, the, the quadriceps, the glutes, because in that full squatting position, those muscles have to work harder. Now, it also improves posture because the full squat, when you're in that full squatting position, works the paraspinal muscles of the lower back and the gluteals to a much greater degree okay now the, the full squat improves lung capacity the full squat uh, prevents injuries to the hamstrings so as you can see there are many reasons to use the full squat and there are many more we're going to talk about those in a minute People who use the partial squat typically load the bar with more weight than they can truly squat, can squat at depth. And this makes the limiting factor their thoracic musculature, not their glutes, not their hamstrings, not their quadriceps, their thoracic musculature, and this invites spinal injury. Now, when you do a full squat, obviously you can't use as much weight. However, it's enough weight to increase bone mineral density and that prevents osteoporosis and spinal fractures. Full squats build healthy knees. I never thought I'd say that because for many years we believed just the opposite, but now, now we know that's true. Now the, the greatest compressive force on the knee is at the 90 degree knee flexion angle which is a parallel squat and that's still a partial squat okay the in the partial squat the tibia is forced above the femur and that places stress on the patellar tendon the quadriceps tendon and that's how you get those to rupture Now admittedly, I went through a period in my life where competition was the most important thing in my life and I squatted as heavy as I could in competition. And uh, I know that uh, things have gotten out of hand due to the suits that we wear these days. They're uh, far, far thicker, heavier material than the old Inzer Z suits and uh, they allow people to squat hundreds of pounds more than they can truly squat and the mono lift uh, allows people to squat a couple hundred pounds more than they can control so if you're squatting 500 pounds more than you can truly squat and typically these guys are going to parallel maybe not even parallel and getting white lights you're seeing ruptures of the patellar tendon and it's not worth it because the money's not there okay and 15 minutes from now everybody's going to forget your name so uh, I think you know if, if you stay in this sport long enough you come full circle and you learn better ways to lift what's important as far as you're lifting um, you know I I, uh, I don't squat as heavy as I used to but I squat a lot lower than I used to I still deadlift 
with the same amount of weight I did when I was competing so that I can always go back into competition if I choose to. Uh, I've had injuries on the bench press. Uh, my bench is not too far off from where it was when I was younger. But uh, as far as the squat's concerned, I'll probably never go back into a full meet. I'll probably do some deadlift meets. It's just not worth it to me to uh, rupture my patellar tendon because I've seen it done and it is incredibly painful and the rehab is incredibly painful and it's just not someplace I want to go. So I thought I'd pass this information along to my viewers. Um, I know a lot of people still will you know, come up to me in the gym and say my doctor said not to do a full squat, uh, to do a partial squat. It's, it's The full squat's dangerous and can injure my knees and I try to explain that to them but they're not going to believe me. 35 years experience, eight time world champion, they're not going to believe me, they're going to believe the guy with MD after his name. Unfortunately, many of those guys don't know what they're talking about. <laughs>